All right, hey, organic chemistry. So we're gonna jump to page 26 and we're gonna do the opposite of what we've been doing in class, which is instead of um, naming organic structures, now we're gonna go from the name to drawing them. So this is backwards. So this one is actually a lot easier than um, what we've been doing. So we have to change number one. Number one, um, it's named incorrectly. So you're going to change and cross this out. It's not going to be one, two, three, trimethyl octane. Cross this out and put three, four, dimethyl decane. Okay. Now, if I want to draw, first I draw the parent name. I'm going to number it any way that I want. Number any way. I want, and then attach the substituents. Now that you number it, you don't have to worry about where the numbers are because you numbered it. So I have 3, 4, dimethyl decane. Decane means 10, and I have all single carbons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is decane. And now I'll number it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, and according to the naming on the third and fourth carbons, it says dimethyl. It means I have two methyls. So one here, one here, and we're done. This is three, four dimethyl decane. Not too bad. Let's do number two. One chloro, two methyl butane. So butane is the parent name, one, two, three, four, and I'll do one, two, three, four. You get to number it, it doesn't matter. One chloro, so I'll put chlorine on the first carbon, and then two methyl. Now I have a methyl there, butane, done. Number three, it says two, two dimethyl, three isopropyl cyclohexene cyclohexene that's my parent name now i'm going to draw cyclohexene cyclohexene is a six membered ring and there's a double bond somewhere i'm going to draw the double bond here okay and so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to number it doesn't matter how one two three four five six okay i just numbered it one two three four five six and so now it says 2,2-dimethyl. Two, two, 1,2. I have 2,2-dimethyl. Two, two, 3-isopropyl. That is what isopropyl looks like. All right. And if you need a refresher, on page 21, I actually typed in and put all of the substituents. So on page 21, here are all the substituents that we drew together. So here's methyl, ethyl. We did isopropyl. Here's your chloro. Okay. All right, number four, two, three, diethyl, fluor, four, fluoronone. Nonane is the parent. Nonane means I need nine carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Now I have nine carbons here, and I'm going to number them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. And now two, three, diethyl. If you forgot what ethyl looks like on page 21, I have ethyl. Ethyl looks like kind of like an upside down V. So two, three, diethyl. Two has an ethyl. Three has an ethyl. Diethyl means I have two of them, two and three. And then four, fluoro. Fluoro means fluorine. F. Done. Now let's do the last one. 2,2-dichloro, 4-T-butyl, decine. Decine means 10 carbons. And there's a triple bond somewhere. Later on, I'm going to specify where the triple bond goes, but I didn't put it anywhere. So one, I'll put it, I'll put it somewhere in the middle. Doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make, let's see, five, six, 
seven, let's say eight, and then I'll make the triple bond here, nine, and then 10, okay? Doesn't matter where you put the triple bond. Later on, we're gonna number these a lot better. Later on, the, the counting is gonna go around certain functional groups. For, for, for right now, I'm gonna number it any which way I want. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, because I feel like it. And so I number it left to right. Two, two, dichloro. One, two, dichloro. Four, t-butyl. Four, t-butyl. And then decine, done. Okay? Later on, you will see that the triple bond is going to have a number or it's going to take precedent. Um, there's going to be an order of functional groups in the way we put them on our compounds, but not right now. So you could use this video to help you do the rest of or start doing the practice set where you are drawing the different compounds.